Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. What time is it? It's half past 1 p.m. Or is 1.30 p.m. When shall we meet? Let's meet in the evening. In this lesson, we're going to look at the time and prepositions of time at, on and in. So stay tuned. Okay, for some students, this lesson might be easy. However, I would like to review with you the time and expressions of time at, in and on. Let's look at the, the questions that you might ask when asking for the time. What time is it, please? Always please at the end of a sentence or of, of a question, of course. What's the time, please? Do you have the time, please? May I ask you for the time, please? Or may I ask you for the time? Just as a formal way to ask for the time. Got the time? And this is informal, informal English. Then you can ask for what time are we meeting this evening? Or, like in my introductory example, when shall we meet? So, these are ways of asking for the time. Now, I'm going to look at the drawing that I designed for you, and this is a clock, okay? I divided half of it as a two and the other half for past. Then, nine and three would be a quarter. If it's in this side, it would be a quarter two. And the, if it's on this side, it would be a quarter past. Then we have a clock at the top, and then at, at the bottom of, uh, so at half, at six, it would be half, half past. Now, a lot of people ask me about um, a.m. and p.m. A.m. means anti-meridian, so after midnight, after midnight to 11.59, almost midday, almost midday. So this is for a.m. And I will give some examples just in a minute. P.m. instead is for post-meridian. And this is after midday until 11.59, almost midnight. So it's the opposite of a.m., obviously. Now, I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to show you how to tell the time. So, going back to the time, I said that we use a.m. or p.m. Yes, that's right. When you want to be specific. Sometimes, you don't need to be specific, because, for example, if somebody asked me the time right now, and I say it's 1, it's obvious that it's 1 p.m. and not a.m. So, sometimes is not needed, is not needed to uh, say a.m. or p.m. Now, another thing that I want to say about the time is that sometimes people use 13 hundreds or 13, uh, is 13 o'clock, okay? Sometimes it's, it's possible to say that and it is mainly used for schedules, for train schedules, for airplane schedules, etc. And this is used in Europe. Now, there are two ways of saying the time. I'm going to show you first the most difficult one, okay? The one that students have problems with, and then I'm going to show you the, the easiest one. And you can choose which one to use. So, the formula for the most difficult one is it's plus minutes plus Past or two plus hour, the hour that you want to say, or the next hour. I'm going to give you some examples just to show you the difference. So, for example, seven, and you see the seven and then 15 there. So, it's a quarter. So, we said a quarter right here is a quarter because it's 15. Past, in this side, is past, past seven, okay, past seven. So, 
we can say we can this would be the time okay right there is a quarter first ten minutes past seven the next one seven and then we have the number 30 so half half because it's right here let's just write the hand okay so is half past seven half past the first the minutes then past and then the hour seven another example 10 is 10 past seven is 10 past seven so this is easy this is on this side now let's look at the other side is seven and then we have 45 a quarter a quarter two a quarter two next hour here a quarter two eight to eight because it's going to be eight soon right you can see the hand right there that is going to fall into the eight hour so it's uh, a quarter a quarter because it's 45 to eight let's look at another example 736 so it's let's just draw right like there more or less is 24 24 minutes you can add minutes if you want if not you can leave it 24 minutes to 8 to 8 o'clock okay 24 minutes to 8 now another example it's <coughs> 10 10 minutes to 8 next hour 7.50 this is the most difficult one and if you want to say it's 8 o'clock you just say 8 o'clock or you can say it's 8 on the dot on the dot okay right there on the dot now this is the most difficult one let's look at the the easiest one the formula is hour plus minutes very easy so you just say 7 10 what you see written 7 25 7 30 7 45 very very easy now it's your own choice you can choose this formula or this way of saying the time or this one the easiest one is your choice now I'm going to explain the prepositions of time at, in and on. Okay, so hopefully in English we have rules and sometimes these rules work. So this is the case with at, on and in. At is used for specific times, for example, to say the time. So at 1.30 p.m. or at half past one, okay? We also use at for at night, at midnight, at noon, at lunchtime. Then we use at for specific periods. For example, at Christmas, at Easter. So the period of Christmas, the period of Easter. Then we use on. On for what? On for dates or days. For example, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on the 8th of February. So, the specific date. And we also say on Christmas Day. It's important that you say day at the end. Otherwise, it will be at Christmas, at Easter. So, day is very important at the end of on, on Christmas Day. Then, in, we use in for long periods, so for seasons, in the summer. Then we also use in for months, in May, in June, in July, etc. We also use in to say in the evening, in the morning, etc. Then we use in for years, 
in 1980, in 1988, in 2000. Then we also use in four centuries. So in the 21st century, in the 20, 20th century, etc., etc. So now, let's recap. In English, there are two ways of saying the time. One using to and past, and the other one just saying the, the number, for example, 7, the hour, and then the minutes, 7.50, for example. Obviously, it's up to you which one to use. In this video, I also talked about at, on and in. At, we use it for specific times. On for dates or days, and in for long periods of time. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any comments, requests, or if you want to post your own example, you may do so under this video. Don't forget to share the video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, obviously. Next week, you'll get a new lesson. Have a great day, and see you next week. Take care, bye-bye.